Sorry about that. I had to make a second part. I didn't realise the battery was down and it just went off. It doesn't give any warning. You think it would make a noise. Anyway, um, so I'll show you inside. I've just turned it over, and as I said, this is this jig is just a basic pole. This is so easy to make this jig. The nice thing about it is that one person can operate it. It's very, very light to, to use. It's just a basic pole system which is the way they used to do it. Anyway I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you what I've been up to and you can see the stone chip. This will obviously be painted over again now uh, but you can see um, maybe the shadow it might be better on that side. Uh, you can see there uh, the texture of the stone chip that's uh, all inside the arch. You can see I've uh, done all the way along there up here everywhere uh, on the top this was already pre-done but I'll give it another quick coat. There's a little bit of overspray, I didn't mask it out because I've got a little bit of work to do. But you can see it's all it's all done. Uh, most importantly these was this inside these arches. So that was the big thing to get everything done there. Um, and I don't know if that will show up now. Probably maybe it will, maybe it won't, yeah. You can just see now where that sealant is. Um, particularly up there in those corners because that's where the inner inner wing is so you can see here I'll do all the way it's not done yet but that's all got to be done so where this inner wing goes on it's important to get all these especially on the mini they can be quite bad for water ingress there's another area uh, on these uh, on these a posts so I'll do all that as well but I just wanted to show you how the coverage is with it uh, <coughs> very basic kit they're around about I don't know the the gun on these this is the this is a system you use this is the one I had from some time back this is a MIPA but I have a, some new ones now for the XKs I didn't want to use it tonight guys because uh, they're quite large cans these are you see it's stone chip but this is uh, light blank blanker uh, and they're going to be for these so, uh, so I didn't want to use it and basically it's just a matter of taking the cap off, putting your gun inside and screwing it on. But you really need to give them a good shake because you want all the little bits, once you puncture it, there's different systems, some have um, uh, the stuff is separate inside and you puncture it when you push it down and this is the little kind of marbly bits that you get. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we were up to. Um, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll repaint this. Uh, over the top. Um, I'll do the stone chip tomorrow inside. I'll do the finish off the corking tomorrow, do the stone chip inside and uh, and then what I'll do then is on Saturday I've got a neighbour who's coming back to work on his house, he's building a new house next door and I'll get him to give me a hand to stick it on the trailer then I can do all the repair work uh, to these, there's a little bit of overspray there, uh, to these arches I'll just, what I'll do is put stopper in them so that they're absolutely as neat as possible and uh, and then we go from there so um, onwards and upwards as they say sorry I had to do a second one but uh, yeah oh and I figured out that panel that's the way it goes it's very handy having two of these cars because all I had to do was go to this one and you can see quite clearly how that panel goes in there well, you can't see it maybe because of the light but you can see how the panel sits underneath. I can see it anyway. So, yeah, very handy having two cars. Um, yeah, so I'll, what I'll be doing is once I get this mini done, I'll, I'll start working on this and build all these new. Um, one of the one I got a comment from uh, from from a gentleman who was talking about maybe the best way to do would be to um, excuse me, saying. Uh, maybe uh, put this uh, long piece in the shrinker or the, or the stretcher and, and put a radius on it. The problem with that is it's not a bad idea because I have a shrink and stretcher on the bead roller. The problem with that is I'll have to make sure each piece was perfect. I think it's probably a little bit easier if I cut it. Or just, it's not cut it, but just take a little shaving off it. Um, and uh, for that gentleman that wrote into me the comment, 
Yeah, I have a few wood uh, metal working tools. I even have a, because uh, he didn't know, so he's obviously just looked, started looking in. Uh, this is a English wheel I have as well with, uh, what is it, uh, six different anvils. Yeah, uh, it's quite reasonable. I think it was about 500 euro. It's not perfect, but it's I'm not making mass, you know, compound curves or anything. So, but for me, it's ideal because I can, uh, you know, I can make beads like this, uh, which is what I did with this car. I made this bead here. This is the original one. There's the new one there. So yeah. Anyway, so just give you a quick update. And as I say. Um, what day is the day? Thursday, isn't it? Maybe Saturday when we get the car back on the trail, I'll, I'll do another one and hopefully I've got some work done on this as well. So, yeah, so please, uh, any guys, please look in. And if you want a quick look at how that works, it's just base a bit of tube. Uh, I'll turn it over again. And it's just attached across them two points there. Um, the reason I put an A-frame in it, I could have gone right through the back, um, but at the time I didn't. This idea of putting this extra boot space in wasn't there, and then the back one is just very simple across the across the struts. But I put that in to uh, allow you to. Th th this can turn, obviously, on a it's a piece of pipe, but you could just go straight the way through with no no problem at all. The reason that this actual A-frame is like that is initially there was no front on the car there was no uh, inner wings inner and outer wings and no front so we kind of had to make an extension to it this bit came out and uh, and obviously without that it's not as supported as well so and i think it was about 50 euro to make uh, not including my time but the, you know with the welding and the bits of metal and stuff very basic jig anyway as i say thanks for watching in um and catch us on there in a couple of days and I'll do another update and you can see where we are with it. So take care, bye for now, thanks for watching, bye.